Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we use number patterns. Here's our question. This question has four parts. A student created two number patterns, pattern X and pattern Y. For part A, pattern X starts with the number 2 and follows the rule add 3. Starting with 2, write the first four numbers of pattern X. Please pause and solve now and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So we know that for part A, we're gonna work on pattern X, and we're told to start with the number two and use the rule add three. So once again, we're starting with two, and we're gonna write the first four numbers for pattern X. So pattern X begins with two, and we need to put the first four values in our pattern. So the rule is to add three. So two add three is five. The next number is gonna be five add three is eight. And then using the rule, eight add three is 11. So our pattern is two, five, eight, and 11 for pattern X. Moving on to part B. Pattern Y starts with the number 13 and follows the rule subtract three. So starting with 13, write the first four numbers of pattern Y. Please pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So now we're gonna focus on pattern Y, starting with the number 13, and our rule is to subtract three. So once again, you're gonna start with 13. Hopefully you wrote the first four numbers, for pattern Y. So pattern Y starts with 13. We're gonna do four digits, or four numbers in our pattern. Our rule is to subtract three this time. So 13 subtract three gives me 10. 10 subtract three is seven. Seven subtract three is four. So pattern Y is 13, 10, seven, four. Part C, write four coordinate pairs in the form x comma y in parentheses for the first four corresponding terms in pattern x and pattern y. Please pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So in part C, we're writing four coordinate pairs in the form x comma y, and we're gonna do it for pattern x, and pattern Y in their corresponding terms, meaning pattern X and Y, their first term is two and 13 in the form of an ordered pair, X is two, Y is 13. So parentheses surrounding our ordered pair, the values of X and Y separated by a comma. The second set of terms, the number two term in both patterns, so five is the X, 10 for pattern Y, 5 comma 10 in parentheses. Our third is 8, 7, so X is 8, Y is 7. And our fourth would be 11 comma 4. So those are your four ordered pairs using the corresponding terms for pattern X and pattern Y. Now, part D. On the coordinate plane provided, Plot your four coordinate pairs from part C. Go ahead and pause and solve now and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So bringing forward, we're gonna plot those four coordinate pairs that we got from our part C. And just to remind you, an ordered pair is X comma Y. So the first one is X. So we're going across the X axis. It's positive, so we're going to the right two and then Y tells us to go up to 13. In the second one, we're going to the right to five and then up to 10. Here, we're going to the right to eight and up seven. And the last one to the right 11 and up four. And there are your four ordered pairs plotted on the coordinate plane. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. 
Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.